Hello everyone. Today we are going to study about great circles, small circles and great circle roots. You know, when a plane passes through the center of a sphere, what happens? Yes, it divides the earth into two equal parts. The line where the plane intersects the surface of the sphere is, it creates a great circle. So equator is a great circle. Why? Because it divides the earth into two halves. Equator and all the meridians of longitudes are called as great circles. We know all the meridians of longitudes, they meet at the poles, North Pole and South Pole, thus forming a great circle. Why are they called as great circles? Because equator and meridians of longitude, they divide the earth into two equal halves. Uh, besides equator, the rest of the parallels of latitudes, they do not divide the earth into two equal halves. Now tell me, can you uh, answer this? Why they do not divide the earth into two equal halves? It is which factor is applying here? It is the shape of the earth. As we move towards the north or towards the south, the size of the circles size of the parallels of latitudes becomes smaller and smaller, right? They, so they are not dividing the earth into two equal halves. So leaving equator, all the other parallels of latitudes, they are known as small circle. Equator and all the Meridians of longitude, they are known as great circles. You can see the great circles, meridians of longitude in this three-dimensional image clearly. So these great circles are the equator and all the meridians of longitude. They are great circles and the other parallels of latitude leaving equator, they are known as small circles. Now the great circle roots. The root which passes through the arc of, a, of the great circle is the shortest root. So this root, it is known as great circle root because the distance through the arc is the shortest distance. So wherever possible, the sailors and aviators, they follow great circle routes. By following great circle routes, they save in time and fuel. But in certain regions, say in the polar regions, great circle routes cannot be followed because of extremely cold weather. The ships, they cannot sail with, between the icebergs, right? And if any country, if 
the route passes through any hostile country, then also the Great Circle route has to be avoided. So, what is a Great Circle route? Great Circle routes is the shortest distance. The distance through the arc is a shorter distance. Sailors and aviators, they follow Great Circle routes. Isn't it interesting? That's all for the day. If you like the video, do hit the subscribe button. Thank